How many tons of steel do you need to build an aircraft carrier? For a large nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, such as the U.S. Ford, you have to use 100,000 to 120,000 tons of steel. Ford is about 112,000 to 120,000 tons of water. And most of them are special steel. This kind of steel has a bending strength of more than 800 megawatts. Just buy these steel materials and you can make 10% to 15% of the entire aircraft carrier. For Ford, this is $1.2 billion to $1.8 billion. And for medium-sized conventional power aircraft carriers, such as China's Fujian aircraft carrier, it takes about 35,000 to 40,000 tons of steel. Fujian aircraft carrier is 80,000 tons of water. In general, it uses 35,000 tons of steel. But if you use a more advanced battery-powered ejection system, the amount of steel used may increase to more than 40,000 tons. About 70% of the steel is high-strength thick steel. For example, the HSLA-80 steel used for the deck and the rest is used to make the conventional pressure plate and the deck. Speaking of small aircraft carriers, such as the British Invincible, it only takes 20,000 to 30,000 tons of steel. It is mainly used on conventional and light decks. Although the strength of the steel is not high, it must be anti-slip and anti-corrosion. The flying deck has to be 40 to 55 millimeters thick. Like the F-35 and the Fujian aircraft carrier, they are both about 50 millimeters thick. Its anti-slip strength is between 800 to 1,150 millimeters. In order to withstand the impact force when the aircraft carrier takes off, high temperature and anti-corrosion, the surface of the deck must be leveled when it is welded. Try to reduce the weld seam to increase the strength. The underwater part should use a 150 to 203 mm thick pressure plate to prevent torpedo attacks and damage to the water pressure. The upper part of the water is a 23 to 28 mm thick conventional steel. It must be light and durable. In key areas such as the command center and the power room, it is necessary to use an armored steel 330 mm thick. The strength of the anti-slip is more than 1,000 tons. In this way, it can block the armor and explode. The aircraft carrier can't be separated from the steel from the beginning to the end of use. It costs hundreds of millions of yuan to maintain it every year during service. It needs to be disassembled and recycled after retirement. The whole chain is a big industry worth tens of billions of yuan.